Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we will be talking about the ship that we saw in the previous episode of Star Trek Picard Season 3. So, on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into the video, do us a favor. Like it. Also, subscribe here to YouTube Bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded Captains where we can share our love and passion for things Star Trek. With that said, here we go. So, Captains, last week, well, as of the recording of this video, about nine days ago, we did a video here about the Duderstadt class, a.k.a. the USS Intrepid. Now, we did that because, one, it's a new ship, duh. Two, it's also a ship that is designed by Bill Krause, who is also the one who designed the USS Titan a, or well, at least the original one, the Shangri-La. Now in that video, I had mentioned around near the end that we were gonna ask permission to share some photos that he already shared with us exclusively before we even knew the ship was going to be, or what, or actually what class it was going to be, or which ship of his ships were gonna be in Star Trek Picard. So we were super, super thankful, but of course he told us not to share it until he says so. And well, we got permission to at least sh show that one. And of course, the one he also had in his Twitter. But with that said, now, of course, Captains, if you do not know who Mr. Bill Krause is, he is also aka Admiral Buck on Twitter. But again, as I mentioned, he is a friend of the channel here. And we couldn't have been happier to have had him here on the bridge with us there. As you can see there, Admiral Buck, aka Bill Krause. There, he is the one responsible for the USS Titan A. And we had a four hour sit down. Captains, four hours talking about ships. I still can't get over how fun that discussion was. So captains, that video will actually be linked below. If you really wanna see someone's passion, hear someone's passion about what they do, and that is building ships. And we can even say building sh ships for Star Trek. Check that video out, captains, he just, it was an amazing time for me personally, and it really, for me, it felt like I got closer to Star Trek. Now, with that said, we're going to go again over to his Twitter because he shared something with us there. And this was the concept art of the Chaparral. So it's here, Chaparral. Now we're going to go over this a little bit more, but what I really wanted to share here again was the date when he shared this image here that we will be sharing that he has not shared yet, I believe, and or we haven't seen yet, or at least I haven't seen anywhere in the internets. But again, he shared with us way before this USS Intrepid got onto screen here. So we go back, I see, oh, there's our conversation there. There's that ship there, but I'm gonna go back to the date where he showed it to us and it was right there. So again, January 30, we were already excited back all the way January 30, and this is the shot he shared with us. Now, I know that's a small shot. We got screenshots of this, Captain, so don't worry about it. But again, as you can see here, he said this was initial concept, eyes only, which he meant do not share. Now, what I wanted to do again was bring up some of the things that he already shared with us in that interview. So I'm gonna take this off screen for now, and then we're gonna go here. now. These are the images that we already went over when we had him here on the bridge. And this is here, his tornado class intercept concept art, which at the time when we saw this, we were like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. And this is kind of like a TOS era ship here. And this is where the USS Intrepid beginnings come from. Again, from Mr. Bill Krause himself. And he again shared these images with us right before we did the interview. And of course we had that on screen as well, or on stream when we had him on the bridge here. And so we can see this is the humble beginnings of the Intrepid. And I thought this was a pretty cool concept. You know, this is not necessarily new. Now I said in the last video that there is, because the shot of the Intrepid, which we'll go over in a bit here too at the very end there, is it had like a deflector also on the back there is a ship in Star Trek Online as captains. If you don't know, I also mainly do Star Trek Online content. 
But now that Star Trek Online ships have gone into Picard, well, why, why not delve into Star Trek and have fun with this as well? But anyways, this is not a new design to me personally. I saw it. It's kind of the same. So saucer and a cell, and then you had the deflector hanging off of sort of the saucer. His connection between the deflector there is a little bit more robust and actually looks even cooler to me, in my opinion. And, you know, I mentioned this before. When the Intrepid goes into Star Trek Online, because it will, I hope we get some sort of semblance of his, his designs here because these are really cool, I thought. So, again, we're just showing off these designs a little bit more. And you can see this is the shot that we kind of saw the USS Intrepid when it warped in there. So it was kind of cool, kind of a little bit of an homage because I'm pretty sure the, these images they sent or he sent over to Star Trek or Paramount, CBS, whoever it may be, and said, hey, these are, these are all my concept art of the ship. And they said, you know what, well, we like this one. So uh, there's that. Now, this also has a TMP skin. That's the TOS. It has a TMP skin. And he named this one the Wasp. So it's pretty cool. Again, when this goes to Star Trek Online, the USS Intrepid from Picard, I do hope we also have access to this. Now, he did something a little different here. The saucer is, of course, well, you can see the TMP in the cells and it's all TMPified there. It has the saucer cut out in a different shape, which I thought is, really looks more aggressive, in my opinion. And where the deflector is, on the tornado slash also the intrepid it's actually torpedo launchers so I, they, this shot i loved and to have this sort of also moment in search of picard i thought was really cool because he did have his titan a and the intrepid on screen just like he did here with the wasp and the shangri-la but you can see that more of the cutout there of the saucer but also where the deflector is that is actually a torpedo launcher. And it just, it's just some more images here that I have of it. So again, you can see more of the prominent cut of the, the saucer there, which again, I thought looks really cool. And this looks really like more of a frigate type ship to me. And that's why I said in the video that when we did the Picard review, how I was surprised how big the actual ship was in, in relation to the Titan. Now, having said that, you know, here's another shot here of the, which I, I like how he put the deflector on the saucer on this one. And again, you, know, you can see the torpedo launcher there. And I kind of like what he did there. If you look at the where the connection point of the torpedo launchers are now, there's sort of this honeycomb shape there. That's pretty cool. Again, I think that's why, you know, one of the reasons why he put that. Maybe there's a connection with the, why he named it the Wasp. But a pretty cool looking ship. Now, we've seen this chart before. We showed it in that video that we did about nine, 10 days ago. And it shows the actual size of the original top ship there in the left row in comparison to the tornado class there. So again, it was like, a, I guess you can consider the one on the left at the very top there, the TOS one, and then kind of a more modern sort of upgrade design of that into for the tornado class. Now, having said that, we're going to take off. He actually s tweeted this pretty cool relation chart, and I thought it was pretty cool to share. So we're going to go over that. We'll take that off screen and put his little tweet there. He put this on his Twitter, and I thought it was really, really awesome. As you can see there, his actual names for his ships. You have the Black Hawk, the reconnaissance vessel there, the Interceptor, which is the Tornado class, which is in an in Interceptor, I should say. You also had the TMP one that we went over there. It is the Hornet class is also an interceptor. Now we get to see a little bit more detail of that image that he shared with us back in January. There was the Chaparral, which is he calls a well, of course Wasp class interceptor concept for Picard. And then of course we get the eventual Deuterstadt class cruiser. And you can see how again the family tree there if you will again i thought it was really cool now personally personally i would have if i had to pick any of these ships here i actually would have picked the concept there for 2390 there that he put there because it yes the, the, the cells kind of look sovereign-esque 
But I have said this before that I don't know why they're kind of using the Sagans or the USS Stargazers nacelles on a lot of the ships there that we're seeing. So that to me made it a little bit more of a, just kind of a different feel and look and it still would fit the era and would be kind of a nod to the Sovereigns themselves because that's what it reminds me of. So we have this, I thought it was really cool. So we had to share it, of course. He had this on his Twitter. And of course, this is the image that he shared there on his Twitter account. Again, kind of a the same angle of when the Intrepid came in. So I'm probably thinking this, they had to, not they had to, but they chose to kind of give ode to the image that they were sent from Bill and made that one, this one of the first shots we see. Now, again, this was kind of like a wireframe type, but here is the image in large that he sent to us, which we're super proud to share with you, Captains. Again, he shared this with us. He trusted this information to us. And he said, you know, eyes only, don't show it, but this was his concept art. Now, I would have, again, I say it again, I would have rather this ship make it. A little bit tweaks here and there, of course, obviously to make it better looking on screen, but I would have rather this, because you can see there the nacelles, they're not actually like straight, up they're actually slanted a little bit which gives it a little different look even more of an a tactical look now the the intrepid itself there that what the final concept that we see there on picard it still looks like a mean ship okay but i feel like this ship would have scaled better because if we go back to that last image here with his relation chart when i said in the review that the Intrepid was like kind of almost looked a little bigger than actually the Titan. It just didn't feel right just because of how what we saw here. I think if they would have scaled it to what Bill had originally, it would have worked a lot better. And again, that's just my opinion. Just as my two ECs. But regardless, I really thought that this would have been the better way to go in terms of the overall design, keeping that sort of sovereign-esque. And they just remind me of sovereign. They're not even exactly the sovereign-esque, but you can see there the design that it has there looks just more tactical, in my opinion. And I still think it would have worked out pretty well if they scaled it down a little bit. And again, it would have just differentiated the ships, even though they obviously do look different. But again, with having the same nacelle design, again, I get it. I, it there's been a comment here and there that I'm talking too much about the sales. That's again, that's just me. This is because I want to talk about it. It's pretty fun to do so anyway. So that is, of course, that again, super, super happy that he shared that with us. And we're, we're just so, and, and you can see here, look at that, August 21st. I'm not sure where the 31 comes from, but regardless, I would have loved if that was now, if this also makes it into a skin into Star Trek Online, I'd be super happy. But again, this would just be a great, great respect to, of course, Bill Krause, uh, the work that he's done in Star Trek, because we've gotten not only one, but now two of his ships canonized, and hopefully more. He's got an awesome fleet there that we've seen, and I'll actually just go back there quickly. Because if you look at all this, could you imagine, Captains, if we had all of his designs, especially that bottom one on the left, I really do like, I know it looks like Kira-esque, but the way he sort of categorized all these ships, they're all exploratory vessels. And of course, I do love his Calypso class ship there at the bottom right column. Again, they're all very kind of forward thinking type designs. And I really do like that. So, so there's that again. But we have this beautiful ship now again when we have this now of course which is the final this was actually from bill uh bill no dave blast sorry dave blast's twitter the image which just he worked on i believe with john eaves or john eaves worked on this and you can see just more details of the actual intrepid that made it into the show again I don't mind this design and how they Picardified, but could you imagine if they scaled it down a little bit and maybe just changed those nacelles to look like more sovereign-esque? I think for me, it would have been a sort of little nugget to the sovereign, and which I do hope we still see uh, soon. I think we will see it definitely. But regardless, there is that. I thought it was a really cool thing to, to get out there, but there's also another one here 
that they made of the Titan. But this is not about the Titan. This video is just about this ship, Bill's second ship here that we've gotten canonized, or he's gotten canonized, not we, but we've seen on screen. So pretty cool, their image. And of course, we do have the images from what we've seen here on screen, which is this scene, of course, is from the shuttle actually crashing into the actual Intrepid's in the cell there. But we see a lot of the actual final here. And again, this, you can see even the pylons that had the sort of holes in them. Never really liked it, but it was very subtle here, so it's okay. I think that those are holes. But again, you see there. But again, I wish that it had those other nacelles. Now, again, this was a pretty cool scene here. I love this. When we saw the actual intrepid, and I'm pretty sure he lost it. He actually messaged me and said that, I believe it was John. Yeah, like, let me just make sure here. He mentioned here, I'm just going to go off screen here. And he said, where is it here? He said, so epic. So uh, what I said was, good morning. Oh my God, congrats. Seeing your ship side by side on screen. He said to me, so epic. John Eves even called him last night and he was freaking out. So Again, I share that to share with you, Caps, to, to, to show you his passion. Not only obviously his passion, but also John Eves, of course. Who knows, maybe we can have a, an introduction to John Eves and we can have him here on the bridge. That would be pretty cool. But having this, I feel so connected now to Star Trek in this moment because of my friendship. I, I would like to say friendship with Bill Krause here especially him being here on the bridge all those uh, lives like last year. But of course, we then hear the pursuit scene. And again, you can see how that scale, they're pretty much the same. And I don't, I, one of the things I just don't agree is with the size of the Intrepid. And of course, you can see a little bit more shot of the deflector back there. So there's a Titan. And of course, here, here is where we see then that that reoccurring theme of that shot when we first see the intrepid there is that sort of aft shot there with a the deflector on that side of the on the back side see it's this it's this shot it even looks way bigger <laughs> when we talk when we look at it from this angle it looks way bigger but again he this he this looks like that image of course that we had that we saw earlier of his Shangri-La and the Wasp their TM, in their TMP skins. So he, he must have just felt this moment. I know we're going to ask him. We're definitely going to ask him because he will be, be, he will be, be, he will be back here on the bridge with us where we will talk about his ships, of course, his thoughts on Picard after the season airs. We've already had that all talked about. We just have to find a date when he is not busy course building more of his ships but again you just look at this you can only imagine how happy he was seeing his ships side by side just like he essentially made up all those years ago with his wasp and his shangri-la so again super super happy and proud that and just humbled just humbled captains that he would share this image with us here on our small little YouTube channel here and that we've actually were able to meet someone with such passion here that I want to say is as much as mine but like I say in my intros I love to be able to share my passion with my fellow captains and he's he's just been such a treat to talk to to interact with and we will do so again so captains there's a video again thought we would share this with you having that sort of exclusive shot of his concept art that he sent over or they made i'm not sure how, who did that but it looks like he did it because he has his signature there at the bottom right corner it says admiral black and hopefully we get to see more of this more of these shots of this sort of concept that he has because it'd be kind of interesting to see more angles of it especially from the app to see if there's any different sort of configuration of the saucer and you know i would have also 
liked if they had a cutout in the front of the saucer they had like torpedo launchers there because that was his original or design for the Shangri-La. It had three torpedo launchers. It would have been nice if they, he put that on here too. And then this would have made it more like of an intercept type ship and made more sense to me. But regardless, I'm just ranting on because I love this concept. So captains, hope you enjoyed looking at this beautiful, beautiful concept art from Bill Krause, AKA Admiral Buck, who we will have here back on the channel. So look out for that as soon as Star Trek Picard is over. That said, like the video, comment below, let us know your thoughts on the things that you saw in this video. And of course, subscribe here to the YouTube Bridge, where we're always on the lookout, like I mentioned, for captains, where we can share our love and our passion for things Star Trek. And with that said, we will leave it on this note, Caps. Live long and prosper.